What's up Dallas Cowboy fans out there? This is Will again coming at y'all with another video. Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about a veteran Dallas Cowboy, uh, a guy that needs no introduction. This guy um, is one of the greatest Cowboys of all time. Top five, probably. Uh, probably one of the greatest tight ends uh, in NFL history, arguably. Uh, he has a Hall of Fame career. He will be in the Hall of Fame. Um, coming up on his 15th season with us, uh, he's seen a lot of people come and go. He came in the Tony Romo era, 2003. And uh, he's been just pretty consistently, stats been consistent. Uh, he's been a driving force on and off the field, positive force on and off the field uh, in the locker rooms and et cetera. And uh, he's been kind of the face of the franchise for uh, going on his 15th season. So um, I'm making this video uh, to ask you guys uh, about his impact this year. Will he still be uh, a valuable uh, force on the offensive side of the ball? at the age of 35. Um, his numbers last year, he had 69 receptions, uh, uh, 673 yards, 9.8 average, uh, three touchdowns. He's had better seasons. His best season was uh, 2010, he had 94 receptions. And it's just average, uh, 94, 94 uh, receptions, 100 and, I mean, 1,002 yards, 10.7 uh, average and uh, nine touchdowns, you know, that was his best. Now career, uh, all time, his all time career, uh, 1,089 receptions, 11,888 yards, 10.9 average yards and uh, 63 touchdowns. That's pretty damn good for a tight end. You know, like I say, he's, he's, he's in the category of maybe top 10 tight ends of all time. Uh, probably one of the greatest, argu arguably. Uh, he will have a Hall of Fame, you know, career. So he's always been healthy. Um, health, health was not a problem with this guy. You know, he made a, might have missed a couple of games here and there. Uh, but uh, Jason Witten's always been reliable. Uh, took care of himself, took care of his body. Fifteen seasons. I mean, you, you can. What, what can you ask? How much? What? How much more can you ask for? Um, this guy, he's always, you know, just been consistently, man. He. He's, his game is really simple. He's plays. He's a smart, conservative, um, strategic tight end. You know, he's not the fastest thing in the world. He's not the strongest thing in the world. Um, but he's smart. You know, he does 60, 65% of the time he's blocking. You know, like I said in my videos before, uh, in the past, tight end, you're, you might as well say you're part of the offensive line because that's what you do. Uh, most of the time, you're blocking, you're helping out blocking, you're lining, you're, you're getting the three-point stance, four-point stance, whatever. Um, and, you know, that's your role. You know, you're the cleanup guy, you're the dirty work guy. You're kind of like the fullback uh, used to be back in the day. Um, Jason Witten has done it all. You know, he's put his body on the line and, you know, he's caught passes down the middle. Middle is a dangerous place to be. Um, guys get cheap shots on you, and, you know, and things like that. You know, pancake, pancake, you sandwich you, you know, you get cut, uh, uh, cracked on, you know, because you're in, you're the end of the offensive line. So, you know, sometimes you don't see those, <laughs> those, those hits coming, you know, so, but um, he's, he was able to persevere through that, and, you know, stay most of his, pretty much all of his career injury free uh, and have a Hall of Fame, you know, career. Um, he reminds me a lot of, uh, Jay Novacek, like I said previously, back you know back in the day, you know Jay Novacek was the same way, um, you know very crafty, smart, tight end, did a lot of blocking, um, just same thing, you know he's got Super Bowl rings, obviously with the Dallas Cowboys, and made a big impact, you know, um, in his career and with his time with us, uh, you know back in the you know late eighties, early nineties, um, you know Jason Witten is a one of a kind guy. You know, I say the way he's playing and the style of his play, um, I say maybe he's got maybe two years left in him. You know, maybe more. I, I don't know. You know, it's injury free. You know, God forbid he gets injured and anybody gets injured. But um, like I say, he's one, he's one of a kind tight end, you know, diamond, diamond in the rough. You know, it's hard to find tight ends nowadays. You know, nobody wants to play tight end. Everybody wants to be, you know, the next Jerry Rice or the next Deion Sanders or the next Emmitt Smith or, you know, um, you know, tight ends of sacrificial, 
position. Hell, if that's even a word. <laughs> sacrifice position. Um, you know, you sacrifice a lot doing it, you know, because, like I said, you're part of the offensive line. You're doing a lot of blocking. So, you, you know, you're not, you're not in, the, in the media's eye all the time, you know. Um, you know, like I said, Jason Witten, I, 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 I want to ask you guys how you feel about his career. Um, you know, his contribution to the, to the franchise and what you think, how many years do you think he's, he has left in him? Um, you think he'll be just as productive as, you know, last year and the year before, and et cetera. Uh, y'all, you know, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Like I say, I, Jason Witten's been a great, great, great guy. Um, I'm, I'm talking like, hell, he's retiring, but who knows? He might play for another five years, you know, look at Tom Brady. Shit, he's 40, 40 years old. He's still, you know, still playing. You know, if you take care of yourself, you do things right on and off the field, you know, you can play for a long time. You know, Daryl Green, he played 42, 43 years old, still running a four, four something in the 40, four, three, four, four, you know, fast, his fastest time was like a four, two. You know, look at Dion. you know, Dion played, you know, up, if, if you put Dion at the 40 yard, he probably could still run a four something in the 40, you know, so, you know, it, it just, you know, it, it, it's, it's a little bit of luck, you know, uh, with, with a long career like that, longevity, but uh, it's how, it's all about how you approach the game, how you play the game, how you take care of yourself on and off the field, you know. Um, a lot of these guys that get hurt, you know, they have these injuries and they're not taking care of themselves. They're not, you know, during the off season, you know, they're partying, they're doing this, they're doing that, you know, out in the streets, out in the back, you know, uh, getting their swag on, you know, so. You know, which is a, a lot understandable for a lot of guys. You know, they they don't experience that coming up, so they feel like they gotta, you know, let it go. But anyway, um, like I said, y'all y'all let me know. You know, Jason Witten, what you, how you feel, what you think about his career, Hall of Fame career, in my in my book, my view. Um, be thir well, he's already thirty five. He turned thirty five back in May, so um, that's he's up there. You know, in age. So um, with with the addition to the you know weapons, new weapons we got, weapon tree that we have, you know, with the rookies and, and, and you know, Dak in his second year and uh, Switzer, Cole Beasley, Williams, all these offensive threats, even defensive threats now, hopefully. Um, you know, we'll see when the season starts. We still got, you know, training camp, mini camp, all that stuff to go. But, uh, you know, that's all I got, guys. Uh, Y'all let me know what you think. And uh, before you do that, y'all know what to do. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is...